Nothing but gunshots. Hello? 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 Just wanted to come on here and talk about a very tragic story by the name of Mr. Lorenzo Wright, who played 12 seasons for the NBA and just wanted to talk about what happened to him. I'm going to try to be very respectful because his kid is still alive, so I don't want to be disrespectful to their mother and everything like that, but it's just really sad, sad that we lost a young man. When I say that he was a young man because of the fact that I was able to outlive him. And he was killed over petty reasons. And, and this is why you gotta be careful with who you have kids with, you know. On the night of July 18, 2010. A 911 call comes from a suburb outside of Memphis, Germantown. And he literally escapes his attackers and makes a 911 call. And as soon as the dispatcher answers the call, you can hear gunshots in the background, at least over five. And his last words was, hey, goddamn, while he's being murdered. And it's just sickening and it's very unfortunate that happened to him. And his wife lured him there. And it was from two different kind of caliber handguns. And so that means it was two shooters. And you got to really hate somebody to shoot them in the face and in the chest multiple times. And they really wanted to make sure that he was dead. And they said that it was um, police report and missing case. And he was missing for over four days and his body was found in nine days. And they say out of them nine days that his body decomposed to the point that his body was just bones when he was discovered. And he was a six foot 11, 250 pound man. And they said by the time they found him, he was 50 pounds and unrecognizable. So when the police did their search and did their investigation, they went to his wife and his wife was stating because he was broke that he was trying to flip over a hundred thousand dollars in drugs but his family and his friends who knew him knew that it was totally not the case they knew that it was lies and his wife ended up collecting the one million dollar life insurance policy that she had on him instead of spending it or saving it for the kids. She took the money 
and went on expensive trips, bought all these gifts, jewelry, moved out of their family home into mansions and stuff like that. And just blew their whole entire money that he had for the children. And didn't really think that she was going to get caught and try to justify it and accusing him of practicing infidelity, cheating on her and stuff. But really, she conjured up this plan to murder him for the money. And just really incriminating herself by publishing a novel about the murder, but trying to, you know, change the names and trying to change the identity. But people put two to two together and looking up the phone records, looking up the internet searches. And once ESPN did an interview with her, she was just really being condescending and saying things like, I am a wife, I am a mother, and I'm a divorce. When they would ask her questions about him and saying that she had anything to do with his murder and she would like repeat that. So she was being consistent on that until one of the killers, Billy Ray Turner was arrested and he said, yes, I killed Larissa Wright, but here's how it really happened. So he implemented her in the crime. So they ended up, all three of them ended up being arrested in the year 2017 and being put on trial. And she was staying in California at the time so she was arrested and extradited back to Tennessee to face trial. So throughout the whole trial, she didn't show no type of remorse, was really trying to make herself to be a damsel in distress and was just saying, well, I did this because he would cheat on me. He would beat on me and mistreat me. And despite all of that, no one deserves to die like that. And I just think that it was just a cop out. You know what I'm saying? I just think that she made that up to take the guilt off or try to make herself feel good or feel better about the situation. But, you know, deep down, he really wanted to get his family back. He really wanted to get just things that was messed up and he wanted to repair it. And, you know, he was a young man. He was only 34 years old. So when you're 34, you have a family and kids and stuff like that. You know, you want the best for your kids and the best for your kids is to have their father in their life. So he was really trying to work things out. And little do he know that the person that he was willing to work things out with was the one that signed his death warrant. Because people will do anything for money. That's why you got to be really careful about who you procreate with, who you sleep with, even shit, who you friends with. Family too, you know? Family be the main ones. And for somebody to give birth to all seven of his children, he never would have thought that she would be capable of taking them out. You know, the relationship or the marriage was really toxic. And it just keeps me careful and cautious about who I deal with, man. Because you never know who will um, try to take you out. And then you spend the money that was meant for your kids on yourself. You know, it was just sickening. And I was
would say like one of the killers, he ended up getting life in prison without the possibility of parole. And she ended up getting 30 years for um, being accessory, planning the murder and this and that. So she got off with a light sentence compared to the dudes who actually performed it. And my thing is like, I'm not letting no woman or vagina cost me my freedom. You gotta practice dick discipline, man, gentlemen, fellas, you gotta practice self-control. You gotta practice self-love because if a chick even come to you with that type of plan or that type of scheme, even if you broke, it's not worth it at the end of the day because this man had nothing to do with you. You didn't even know this man, but yet you were just caught up by the P-U-S-S-Y. And this is why you gotta be really careful because the demon doesn't all wear horns. Demons could be anything and everything that you imagine. Man and woman, you gotta be careful about who you sleep with, who you infatuated with, who you spend your most of your time with, because that person can be your downfall. So now they say in the jail while his kids don't have both parents, and I just must give his mother my utmost respect because she was a strong woman. She is a strong woman and she didn't give up until his killers was found and justice was served. And I really appreciate you for keeping your son memory alive and you raised a good man despite the circumstances he will be remembered as a local hero, a legend, all that. But yeah, be careful about who you sleep with and who you have kids with, because you might end up making the worst mistake of your life. The kids isn't a mistake, but the spouse or baby mama, baby daddy. So, but yeah, that would include tonight's episode thank y'all for watching if y'all want to send a donation to the cash app cash app dollar sign the 1804 show make sure y'all hit that like button make sure y'all subscribe and keep a lock for more content peace i'm out